find out the fate of this neglected pit bull after a flock of vultures started circling her. As pet owners, it is our rightful duty to protect and keep our pets out of harm's way. They rely on us to feed them, love them, and take care of them. Do you think you could ever put your pets in danger? This story is about a dog that had been tied up, unable to move about, so much so that vultures began to hover around her. Do you think that the dog made it, or do you think she fell into the unmerciful clutches of these predators? Would you free a dog if you know that it has been caged and bound? Would you intervene if you are sure that it has been abandoned and left to die? Well, little Lilo the pit bull had been chained to a tree. She was left by her owners to stay out in the very cold weather. She didn't have anyone to spend time with, using up her days trapped inside a plastic shelter they kept her in. The dog doesn't seem to even growl or show signs of complaining. If you have left a helpless pet outside for too long, something is bound to go wrong. Something did go wrong when the little pit bull had been staying outside for some time. An alarming number of vultures turned up near her doghouse. Maybe there was a vulture nest located close to the doghouse. We all know that vultures feed on their prey mercilessly. So what was going to happen to Lilo? Do you suppose she made it alive? The little dog had been kept like this unattended for so long that it was starting to summon attention from the neighbors. So, by December of 2014, the wardens from Guilford County Animal Control in Greensboro, North Carolina had been informed about the poor dog. The locals had become a bit worried since the dog was obviously not in a safe situation. The authorities were called since there were more and more people who saw that the little dog was not getting proper treatment that a pet is supposed to get from their owners. So, the local residents informed the workers that the pup had remained tied to a tree for a very long time now. They also added that it was kept in a plastic doghouse that she used as a shelter. So, when the animal facility had been informed about poor Lilo's state, they quickly grew concerned as well. The state that the poor dog was in sounded really awful, but that was not all. There was another thing that was very dangerous present at the spot where the dog was trapped. It was something that was truly terrifying and would cause any sane person to call for help. The locals had already placed a call explaining just how badly the dog remained neglected by her owners. It was already a concern for her well-being, but people also informed the authorities that there was a flock of vultures that decided to loiter near the dog. It was clear that the birds were waiting for the poor dog to wither away so that they can devour her carcass. If you don't know much about vultures, allow us to give you a little explanation. Vultures are scavengers, which basically means that their main food is dead animals. They rely on dead bodies of other animals as a source of nutrition and diet. But when there is no dead body or carcass to be found, these birds are known to target ailing or weak animals within their vicinity. So, we can see from here that the dog was probably showing signs of dying or was getting weaker and weaker. It wouldn't alarm the vultures if the dog was healthy and strong, as they only feed on the dead. So, it turns out that the possibility of the dog getting ripped apart by the raptors was highly probable. Would the dog be able to escape this, or did the vultures have their way? We can tell that these birds would probably stay a while and be around the dying animal because they are waiting for her to die. It would then give them a good chance of getting fed. They would get to pick up the meat from her dead body. It's a horrific thought, but can you blame the vultures? It's in their nature to feed on the dead, so the dog would have to wait and see what happens. So, obviously, just the mere thought of this would be a terrifying prospect. When the animal rescuers were called, they had no time to lose. If they were not quick to come and get the poor dog, then her fate would have turned to the worst. So, the animal rescue team came rushing to the site. They got there in time, and the dog was still living and breathing. The canine was about to have quite an adventure in the future. The people soon got to the place where the dog was tied up. They were glad to see that the dog was not dead yet, but were still in shock to see the state she was in. It was definitely not a pretty sight. 
they discover little Lilo tucked inside her plastic shed, afraid to come out of where she felt most safe. There was a number of vultures around her plastic doghouse. These vultures clearly didn't seem to mind waiting if they were able to get to feast on the dog. Since the dog had been abandoned for so long, they were quite confident that she was going to die soon. Two of them were actually roosting on top of Lilo's doghouse. The vultures made sure that the poor dog was confined and they maintained a good guard over her surroundings. There was another thing that really surprised the people that went to save the pit bull. It would be extremely scary for most animals to be surrounded by vultures that could any minute pounce on you. However, the eight-month-old dog apparently did not look like she noticed them. It was as if she didn't have a care in the world to have these thirsty vultures surrounding her. The animal rescue team soon discovered that the dog had been immensely disheartened. It was as though poor Lilo had given up on her life accepting the fact that it was not going to get any better anytime soon. They felt like she had already lost all her hope to have a more comfortable life as being caged in that plastic doghouse had been her reality for far too long. After seeing the depressing state that the dog was in, the rescuers wanted to help make a change for little Lilo. They wanted to make sure that the dog got the future that she deserved. So, what did they decide on doing next? Well, the animal rescue team took Lilo into their custody to keep her away from the vultures that were ready to pounce on her. But was she not owned by someone else? Did Lilo not have an owner that was supposed to take care of her and keep her health in check? Well, the rescuers decided to leave a note on Lilo's owner's front door. They couldn't bear the sight nor the thought of the poor dog going through such a horrifying existence any longer. They took her away from the danger and threat that her owner left her in. When the animal welfare team took the little dog into their own hands, they ran some medical tests on her to see just how bad of a state she was in. They found her to be malnourished, which was not at all surprising, after being left out in the open for so long. Little Lilo had a few tears and even had scabs on her ears with lesions on her tail. All in all, Lilo was in a mildly okay state and didn't seem to show any signs of serious illness or injuries. Even though she had probably spent most of her life outside in the cold, the vet found Lilo to have a very stable health. After going through all of the medical tests and checking on her, they found her to be in a good state and without any complications. The dog was in better hands as the rescue team was taking good care of her. The animal control did all that was necessary for Lilo to gain her health back. After a while, her owners called the rescue center and claimed that they wished to collect the dog. But the owners proved their unreliability yet again after failing to show up to collect her. So what was left for the poor dog now? Since the Guilford County is not capable of adopting pit bulls, they were running out of options. The rescuers were faced with a difficult choice of doing what's good for Lilo. They couldn't keep her and they were certainly not going to return her to a disloyal owners. It had come to a point where euthanasia for the dog was being discussed. While they were in the midst of figuring out what to do next with Lilo, the Merritt Pitbull Foundation stepped in. This was a blessing for the rescuers as they were running out of options. This was not a meager organization, but a rather well-experienced one on the rescues of bull breeds from across North Carolina. They helped these ill-fated dogs to start over in life. But this was not always an easy shot. The Merritt Pitbull Foundation would help in finding these dogs new, loving pet owners that would not bring them back to the bad states they were found in. After rescuing and giving them medical care, these animals are sent to foster homes before finding a home that would keep them forever. The Merritt Pitbull Foundation stepped in and took charge of creating a healthier environment for Lilo. For her rehabilitation, the rescued Pitbull was sent to live with Kiana Lynch and Travis Henley. So, Lilo had found new foster parents who quickly decided on the name Lilo. These two seem to really care for her and have been doing all they can to help the adorable pup. So, how did Lilo react to this new place of hers? 
Since she had never been inside the comfort of a loving house and given ample attention, was she going to be able to adapt? Well, it was a relatively better and safer place for her to stay in, so obviously, Lilo was settling into her new home just fine. Lilo seemed to get comfortable real quick in her new, temporary home. As it turns out, luck was on Lilo's side this time, and it appeared as though she would have to stay with Kiana and Travis for quite a while. It would seem that the little pit bull named Lilo would not be leaving her foster family in the near future. This was a blessing for both sides as they really liked each other's company and were not willing to leave each other anytime soon. The couple welcomed Lilo with open arms and they were glad they could be of assistance to the well-being of the dog that had suffered so much. She found her bed on the first night, Lynch revealed in an interview back in 2016. We fell in love with her almost immediately. So, the dog had now found love with owners that she never received from her past ones. As it turns out, Lynch and Henley would not be able to let go of the pit bull at all. They finally decided to keep Lilo, turning her into a permanent addition to the family. Yes, the couple decided that it was time for them to adopt Lilo. They fell in love with her the first time they met and the love seemed to grow stronger each day that was spent together. For a pet that had been through so much in the past, neglect, starvation, and infection, you'd think that Lilo would become a very angry dog. But the opposite happened. The couple didn't have much in terms of expectations from the poor pup, but they were pleasantly surprised to see that the dog turned into the most lovable dog anyone could ever ask for. So, when Lynch was asked about the first few days Lilo started living with them, she told an interviewer back in 2016, she definitely didn't know what it was like to live inside, but she's got a great personality. She loves to snuggle. The dog must have wanted to give all the love and care it had bottled inside all those times when she was chained to the tree. So now, Lilo has the freedom to play around. She can finally run around and not be confined to one spot alone. Lynch added, Lilo loves her antlers, loves to chew on them. She has no clue yet on what to do with the other toys though. It must be such a shock for Lilo to be living in such a drastically different environment from the previous home she stayed in. So, when Lilo was taken in, she was given all the things a pet would ever need, for once. The couple that took her in, Lynch and Henley, were focused on training the new addition and also getting her comfortable, living inside her new home with their other two rescue pups. It is clear that these two love dogs and are willing to do anything for their pets. So Lilo now not only had a place to stay, but had new friends, or rather siblings, that she would be able to play with whenever she feels like it. Even though Lilo had been through such a rough past, it was starting to wither away. Signs of her having a tough past were slowly beginning to fade, and she seemed happier than ever thanks to her newfound family. Lynch then spoke about how well-mannered Lilo is and says she's never held a grudge for her past and loves everyone she meets. She prefers to be held like a baby and snuggles in any chance she can get. It is such a positive thing to witness such growth and maturity from a pet that has been so neglected and tossed around. The couple also talked about Lilo's health that had gradually progressed after she found herself under their care. They spoke to interviewers and explained to them that she was doing better. Over the past year, Lilo has become a healthy, vibrant girl with all kinds of funny behaviors. This dog is so positive that we should all aspire to be like her. But there were some scars on her body that she had sustained from her past that could not be removed. She still has issues from her past, Lynch revealed in her interview back in 2016. For a dog that was at one point targeted by hungry vultures, there should be something that haunts her to date because it would have been such a struggle. So, Lilo still has some problems that are obviously effects from the hurt and pain she has been through in the past. I can't leave her in the backyard by herself. She comes to the door and cries. She really just wants to be with you. She loves and appreciates what you do for her. She's a sweet baby. Lynch tells in her interview, spilling some problems Lilo still faces. 
So, do you think the couple that took in this abused dog regret their decision on taking her into their home? Do you feel like it would have been burdensome to have to take care of and pick up the pieces of Lilo's haunting past? Well, Lynch and Henley didn't regret adopting her. They're happy that Lilo gets to be with them and they do not pay attention to the negative aspects. On the contrary even, the couple was over the moon that this pit bull had come into their lives. They couldn't be happier that such a positive dog had found her way into their lives. This pit bull has had such an amazing impact on them that they want other people, close friends, and family members to adopt pit bulls as well. Lilo's effect is rather positive. Lilo's new parents have been so mesmerized by her that they go through leaps and bounds to spread awareness about the much misunderstood breed. They wish that people gave these dogs a chance. Lynch takes Lilo into schools and promotes animal rescue. They want others to experience the joy and happiness they feel when they have Lilo around. Lynch has taken the initiative to give the breed that Lilo belongs to a good name so that people stop associating them with violence and danger. Lynch had one very important thing that she wants others to know. It is that dogs are meant to be loved, not left out for the vultures to feed on. It is amazing to see how positive of an impact Lilo has left on the couple. She truly is an inspiration.